Rebecca, in trying to figure out what are the foundations of reality, with all the speculation we can do in philosophy and religion, I have to start with science, because that's what I can know for sure. Question is, we've learned a great deal in science, but how far can science go? What are the limits, if any, to, to science? There may not be some questions that could be answered, but if science can't answer it, can it be answered in any way? In other words, is science the only way we have to access real and fundamental knowledge? Hmm. So I would put our knowledge in three categories. Uh, there is what we call ontological knowledge, knowledge of the kinds of things that exist in this world. What are the fundamental categories? What kind of you know, material bodies, uh, photons, ghosts, uh, <laughs> you know, disembodied minds? What kind God? What kinds of things exist in this world? Um, and I would say there we have to depend completely on. Um, on science, with one exception, consciousness. We know that consciousness exists not because uh, we've scientifically discovered it, but because we're conscious. So, I mean, that's the one thing we know about the universe, that there is, there is consciousness in it uh, that doesn't depend on, on science. But for everything to know that else... To an issue, you're not saying that we can explain it other than science. But no, exactly. To recognize To it. recognize that there is this kind of thing in the universe, conscious right, beings. Right, right, okay. We know this because... So that's the first know. category, the nature, what things are real, what things exist, so ontology. In ontology. Okay. Then there is epistemology, uh, the, the knowledge of knowledge, the questions that, uh, what is knowledge... How do we get it? How far can we take it? This is not a scientific question. Uh, it, in fact, science presumes certain answers about um, uh, epistemology. Uh, science gives us, uh, the methodology of science gives us a, a procedure for, for justifying, for grounding our beliefs. Um, so it's making, in its very use, uh, it's making uh, uh, use of epistemological claims, mm -hmm. and therefore could not non-circularly justify them. We need philosophy for that. We need ph philosophy to, and, and philosophy can, I think, justify the epistemology of science, but that's going outside of science uh, in order to do it. Even the claim that science gives us the only knowledge that there is, is not something we can prove scientifically. It is itself a, a non-scientific yes, exactly. It's a kind philosophical. It kind statement. of uh, falsifies itself in some <laughs> sense. But you know, it, it, you can use good reasoning and philosophy in that sense is a kind of continuation of, of of science. Then there's also knowledge of values, knowledge of you know of, of morality, of, of 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 what what is right and wrong. And I I think that empirical knowledge is relevant to this, but once again, I think that philosophy and moral reasoning, which goes outside of science, uh, it's not that it's not reasoned, it's argued, um, but it is, it is going outside of things that can be empirically uh, falsified or validated. Um, it takes us outside, takes us into real knowledge that is nevertheless outside of scientific knowledge. So when it comes to ontology, I look to science. When I come to epistemology and Moral knowledge, I look to philosophy. Now, some scientists have told me, uh, with a smile, that there is good philosophy, but that good philosophy is philosophy that keeps away all the other philosophy from science. And that's the only value of philosophy, is to, is to keep bad philosophy away from science because science has no need for philosophy at all. Science has need for philosophy, first of all, um, there are certain questions that are raised within scientific theories themselves that are that are philosophical. Quantum mechanics, foundations of quantum mechanics, um, is very is very very close to to philosophy. These are not these are questions of interpretation that can't be answered by the science itself. And just in general, to to justify this means of gaining knowledge about the universe. Uh, to put forth an argument as to why this is reliable is to go outside of science uh, and, and into philosophy.